Hi, this is Buddha Chandrasekhar. I would like to share various solutions for Indian Railway ticket booking problem and how to increase uh, Indian Railway profits. Uh, so what is Indian Railways? It's a lifeline of India and uh, with over 1.3 million employees and it connects entire country and with lots of uh, employment opportunities. So let's go through some of the interesting stats. It has 1,15,000 km railway track, 7,172 railway stations uh, with uh, 8.4 billion passengers uh, traveled 2013-2014 uh, year. So that's nothing but 23 million passengers daily and 1,000 million tons of freight and in the from the revenue point of view it has uh, 23 billion US dollars revenue in that uh, 15 billion is right and 1.6.1 billion from passenger tickets so today my concentration is only on the passenger ticket side and uh, and uh, and you know and uh, as you know from a customer from a traveler point of view there's lots of issues so I would like to address all those issues and to see and propose some of the solutions so if someone wants to change the company economy normally you know but or increase their profit you know what they do is they increase their price or, uh, or rent their properties or reduce their cost by cutting jobs but I would like to give a solution which doesn't increase any uh, cost of the ticket and uh, doesn't cut any jobs uh, because you know I strongly feel that uh, you know uh, we need more people in Indian railways uh, than cutting jobs so you who do you see lots of customers right so we have lots of customers so it's good that you know we have lots of customers I mean millions uh, 23 million every day it's a huge customer base right so let's see how we can use this customer base and the main uh, harrowing experience is purchasing train tickets and platform tickets I mean wherever you go in India you see a similar kind of uh, picture the railway stations you know with the huge queues to buy ticket so the people basically fear that you know uh, while uh, waiting on the queue the train will leave the platform so that is the reason lot of people don't buy ticket you know it's not that they don't want to buy ticket but you know they don't want to uh, you know lose the train so they want to cast the train and you know they won't buy the ticket and they they basically go inside the train so let's see how we can solve that problem I mean you know that's a major problem right so it is basically reducing the revenue so the first one is platform ticket you know as you already saw in the previous slides that you know we have 23 million million uh, you know passengers on a daily basis so as you know India is a kind of a country you know where we have lots of traditional and family values and lots of friends so we basically when we travel you know we someone will come to give a send off maybe a friend or a family member or maybe sometimes you know the entire family will come to give a send off so so you know uh, the first thing you know I want to make this entire platform ticketing process very simple and easy so uh, people have in India 80% citizens holds the mobile phones which may not be a smartphone but a generic phone so simply using a SMS short code method you know if they can see and type the IR CTC and P for platform you know then they will receive a code with the timestamp the time they purchase the the platform ticket and it gives the validation for next two hours and uh, unique code so that the TC or a uh, checking collector can check the and validate the platform ticket so this way imagine every day uh, for 23 million people at least 10 million uh, family members or friends are coming and uh, giving a send off so we can sell 10 million platform tickets per day it's a huge amount right just multiply that with 365 days multiply with uh, 3 or 5 rupees so it's a huge amount right so that's one thing the second one is uh, I see that you know there's an unreserved short distance travel solutions as I mentioned earlier lot of people you know they they're worried that the train will leave platform and you know they rush to towards uh, 
train and they sit inside train you know instead of taking ticket because of huge uh, you know big lines queues so the best solution is the TC has the swipe card system you know he can uh, validate the customer and if he doesn't have any ticket then he can issue a ticket inside a train you know that's very simple he just keys in the the train number source and destination and uh, the machine will generate a ticket and it's like a very similar to bus conductor you know who gives a ticket uh, using a swipe card system right it's a very similar thing and he can take money or he can swipe it swipe the card and he can give the printout as a ticket now the second method you know very interesting method which I really love is uh, you know the, the customer can simply using the SMS uh, and key in the c train number as well as the number of hours he is going to travel because see lot of times you know it's very difficult as you know as I mentioned you know most of the users has the traditional mobiles than a smart mobiles so they can't key in or they may spell the source and destination wrong so if they can just simply say IRCTC hyphen the train number hyphen how, mean how many hours they are going to travel so I let me give you an example you know uh, let's say you know I'm, I want to travel from Vishakhapatnam to Rajamandri it's almost like two, 250 or 240 kilometers uh, so you know I just simply key in the number and I say I just say for hyphen 4 you know that's nothing but you know I'm going to travel for next four hours in this train so it, uh, it the, the I will receive a ticket with the train number and uh, and the money will get deducted from my mobile um, uh, balance and I see that you know the uh, time and uh, valid for no four hours got printed so that I can travel in this train till 8 p.m. so if any ticket collector can validate and see you know at what time I purchased and for how many hours so that is the best and easiest way to solve this problem and earn more money from our uh, Indian Railways perspective and uh, there is a unique code so if any ticket collector wants to cross check your uh, uh, you know your ticket then they will key in that unique code they will validate you know if uh, if the validation is successful then he will welcome you on board or you know he will use the same swipe card mission and he will uh, he will uh, you know give you a ticket so it's very simple right so the next one real this is a real painful one you know which I would like to address here is uh, uh, tr uh, let's say you know I want to travel from Vishakhapatnam to Delhi most of the times what happens is uh, uh, you know I really don't have a choice to select the compartment so here what I would like to suggest is the S1 is full you know so I will show it in a red color and this is almost getting full and this is empty so I can simply select um, you know any of the uh, compartment I want and I can buy a ticket and uh, and this is the diagram I have taken from one of the IR site uh, Indian Railway site and do you see this red right this is already booked and do you see this um, 45 this is very interesting the 45 is nothing but you know I, I would like to uh, buy book a ticket from Vizag to Delhi uh, reserve a ticket but the problem is you know this 45 you know the reservation is available from um, from Barampur Orissa so I can see that and I can book it see this is another thing you know where uh, railway is losing lots of revenue and the even customer is getting frustrated because you know he he, he see that you know the seats are empty but you know he, he doesn't have uh, option to reserve it so the other option what I would like to see is uh, as when we book a ticket you know we get the wait waiting list options right so I would like uh, the railways to add one or two uh, compartments uh, you know per train for uh, for uh, un uh, for waiting list as a sitting capacity you know you don't need to give them beds but you know at least give them option of sitting so that you know you can accommodate more tra more uh, passengers and you will earn uh, more revenue and the passenger will reach the destination and along with that if we can keep an option uh, for uh, uh, for extra uh, compartment for luggage that would be good so that for all major stations where train stops for more than 10 minutes you know the passengers can uh, can you know uh, push all their luggage towards his luggage compartment and they say take a security token and uh, you know the luggage will get released uh, when they give the token back so that's the best solution for um, for the you know for all major station passengers so the you know and I would like to see seats like this when I click on let's say I clicked on uh, 51 54 49 50 51 slot you know I will see the side bets and you know I can click and reserve it you know or if I want to see the real picture I can click and see the real picture of it and uh, there's a lot of unused space between tracks and a new space next to the tracks so let's see how we can you 
use this you know cover up all 7000 plus railway station side of the tracks and the empty railway spaces with solar panels you know this gives lots of money to uh, indian railways i will explain a better and easiest process out of 1.5 lakhs of tax exemption we have in india under itc if 10000 rupees is reserved reserved for a solar bonds deposits mutual funds with less interest then what happens is yearly at uh, i'm taking 5 crore uh, citizens as a tax payers in india i know it's more than that but you know let's take a, the least number 5 crore tax payers multiplied by 10000 rupees it will come around 50000 crores huge amount imagine you know people are investing 50000 crores per year in indian railways and you can generate 5000 megawatts of solar power besides your regular plants uh, i mean you know any other regular electrical departments I, uh, indian railways itself can generate lot of solar power and uh, in 5 years you can generate a 10% of indian uh, you know power requirement that is 25000 megawatts power so that's what you need to do and you know and you can even sell that uh, you know uh, that power uh, to citizens for uh, for cheaper price and this helps clean environment that's one thing and uh, and healthy life um, besides the power problem crisis what we are facing so above generates a huge amount of job creation opportunities and uh, manufacturing of pv uh, pv modules and security to railways as well as you know power generation and maintenance so you know it's it's a huge thing so that's what we need to do and this is the best way to uh, increase the indian railway uh, railway profits as well as customer is also happy because they are also part of the success of our own indian railways so uh, my name is buddha chandrashekar uh, by profession i am a software uh, into the software business my facebook id is it chandu 1801 uh, and i am a bjp karyakarta I, i have uh, lots of experience on the smart cities um, and uh, you know i i am author of lots of other videos you can check out my uh, youtube channel youtube.com/user/itchandu uh, and these are the various activities i was involved in last few months um so what i really see is uh, you know uh, i want uh, indian railways to be profitable and we all be part of that uh, jai hind